this would be take three. I'm not used to doing more than one take, honestly. Good morning, good morning. This is John from New York City. Channel name, John from New York City. Saves money. I love helping people keep some more of their own hard-earned money. Could that be you? Guess what? It wasn't even my fault because those other two previous takes were technical issues that had nothing to do with my execution of the project. So you know what I'm going to do? I am not going to play my video clip intro, and I'm definitely not going to play my exit outro because the exit outro kept running three times over. I'm like, no, no, I kept trying to stop it. It was a mess. How are you? <laughs> Hopefully this will work out for the better. <laughs> anyway, like I said, I'm John. I love helping people keep some more of their own hard-earned money. And I really like to let you know some of the reasons why I do the things I do because I'm a frugal person. We live in a world of decisions. We're making decisions all the time and some things we make like sort of like out of habit and some things we make on purpose decisions, but here are some like really with great intent uh, decisions that I make because I am a frugal person. Was I born frugally now? No, it was something I honed over time, but nowadays, yeah, I'm frugal. <laughs> we all evolve. We all change. This is real life. Just say, just say number one. I refuse to go to a restaurant, pay good money, a tip, transportation, extra time, get a little dressed up, just to sit there and order spaghetti. No. No. If I'm going to do all that, I'm going to have something that maybe I normally would never have at home. So for me to do that, and spaghetti is so cheap to make, I just... I just can't see it. I just, unless that restaurant makes like superb meatballs or whatever, maybe. And that's a really remote, mm, maybe. Next, I refuse to use tons of oil for cooking. I think, in my honest opine, that people use way, way, way too much oil. I mean, I watch cooking shows on TV and I go like, really? That much oil? Ugh. To me, it grosses me out to look at and it's extremely expensive. Me, I'm like one turn of the pan. I like shallow frying or even less than that. I rely very, very little on oil. Now, yes, olive oil is good for you, but I'd rather use that not in terms of cooking like something hot. I'd rather use olive oil as a dressing, but that is the way I roll. Next, I refuse to pay a lot of money for shampoo or conditioner or other hair care products. I'm not saying that they don't work. I'm not saying that they don't smell great. But the packaging is usually what people pay a lot of money for. I used to work in a packaging distributing company many, 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 many moons ago as a full-time worker during the summer in between teaching. I used to do that. And I could absolutely tell you it is the packaging that a lot of people pay for. Because if you look at the ingredients next to the cheaper brand, you're going to see a lot of similarity. So why should I pay more for that? I refuse to. Just saying, just saying. I refuse to pay for unhealthy sugary soda. Remember when on the Everywhere with Steve Young 74 channel that Steve you know, described very clearly outlining the reasons it is not good to consume sugary soda and even the diet ones are not great in fact some of them are really even worse rather than that if i want a little bubbles in my drink i'll have some seltzer i'm totally okay with that and it is a lot less expensive yay to that next i refuse to work harder when i can actually work smarter yeah i mean if i could find a way to do something easier and more streamlined and get the same you know, task completed, I will do that because it's a really important thing to save time and not just earn money, also and to save time. More about that later. Next, I choose to look at my numbers. What do I mean by my numbers, my budget, and make any necessary adjustments. Good idea to check out your numbers a couple times a week, at least once a week. I go for it a couple of times a week to make sure everything is in check. That's just the way I roll. And uh, also to track your expenses. There are a lot of great apps out there where you could just follow along. You don't have to remember everything. 
Uh, but you, you know, run the apps and take a good look at it. And mm, something doesn't add up. It's like, what? So you make the necessary adjustment before any problems happen. So I choose to look at my numbers. I am not afraid to look at my numbers. I think a lot of people are, and that's the wrong attitude because it can be corrected. You can't know what you don't know. You can't fix what you don't know. Next, before I seek employment, like I used to do in the past, back in the good old days, I would always have my salary requirement prepared ahead of time. I would sit down and plan it. I would let the potential employer know this is what I need and here's what I could do and, you know, the resume and all that good stuff. Instead of just wasting their time as well as my effort, not going to do that. Next, I refuse, refuse to spend my time just wasting it. Like, for example, uh, well, wasting it on like it's good to be on the phone and get things done. And it is good to take a break on a phone and spend, you know, a little bit of time with important folks in your life. But my time is very important because when you lose your time, you don't get it back. You can regain money. You cannot regain people and you cannot reclaim time. Once you lose people and once you lose time there, that's it. Just maximize everything as much as humanly possible. I'll tell you one thing though today. <laughs> today I feel like I threw a lot of time away because I know what was so sad about this is that the actual video itself, both of them, they were perfect. So I want to run a video probably at least eight minutes to give us both a little important time together, you know, on my instant coffee with Jan show, but because of things beyond our control, but you know what, this is good even for another chat, like for a brief second or two. Okay. Sometimes in life, well, not sometimes all the time in life, there are things we can control as opposed to things we cannot control. And like those technical issues that are beyond our control. Remember that message years ago, due to technical difficulties, please stand by. Those things are out of people's control and we need to learn how to be patient. Sometimes we are too reactionary, like to a point like where it can like not be good. So the first time like the technical issue happened, I was like, uh, 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 let it go at that. The second time I was like, uh, uh, uh. I said, there hopefully will not be a third time because I'm in like great competition with bells that ring, phones that ring. <laughs> Ask Steve Young from the Everywhere with Steve Young 74 channel. Sometimes we have to have to uh, cut a video with, with the uh, interruption in it, because if we don't do it, we will have like about 4,000 4, pre-recorded takes going on. And all of us need to conserve our precious time. I want to thank you so much for your time. You are very valued and you are very much appreciated. Thank you so much for being here. And I really do appreciate everybody's time. So I'm just going to say ciao, ciao right here. Bye-bye. Not even going to play an outro for fear of what happened before. I hope they clear up that matter. Have an amazing, fantastic day. Take good care of yourself and your wonderful family.